Hello everybody and welcome back to Northgard. Where oh we are not very happy right now. My people want a better town hall apparently, so they can grow. Okay, let's unpause it and let them get on with it. So let's have a quick look what we're doing. So there are buildings with no workers, but that is kind of intentional, I think. At the moment we were when I last last left off, waiting for winter to be over. And for us to actually have some food and stuff before I sent anybody to be a miner, because it makes no sense to have a mine a bunch of stone. Get off my farmers. You move back. Move away. Run away. Good, 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 good. Okay. Right. Actually, he wasn't even hurt. I think I was looking at the wolf's uh, stuff again. So basically, I remember now from last time, we had... Um, the warriors here to protect against the wolf attacks coming from this side and I was generally finding that the draugr that were coming through here were not getting past my tower so that was really good but I just need this winter to be over it won't be long now and then I can put a healer back in now I need to keep an eye out for things like um, fish I know I was missing fishers' huts and things like that sometimes, so fishing points anyway. I know I've got stone in some places, I know I've got iron that I can mine out in some places. I'm going to do stone first, and when I do the stone I can get my town hall sorted. And that will mean that they'll be a bit happier, they'll grow a bit faster, I can upgrade the houses, all that sort of thing. We've got another four before the population's at its cap. I can actually huh, get a new piece of law. Fantastic have population growth. Let's have a look what we're going for over here. Probably will want something like Conqueror because this is a, a victory where, yeah, I'm going to want to be able to take defence towers down. I'm going to want decolonisation to happen fast so that I can take over other areas really quickly. That's going to be important. We're okay for our money. But I will probably do money at one point because I definitely think that that's going to be the, the key to keeping um, keeping my my military stocked. But I suppose if I don't... The thing is, if I don't... Um, if no one dies, then I don't need to spend money on new warriors. So it just depends on how careful I am with them, I guess. A bit worried over here. Oh, here we go. You get back there. You run away, run away. And you run away. Run back here. And my soldiers can get that Draugr. There we go. You can help if you want. Okay, dude, you can come back to your farm now. So I'm going to sort of have them in the middle because they do need to defend this area, unfortunately. I was I was super confident that it was completely hemmed in and I'm like, no, there's Draugr on the other side. Oh, the Jotnar over there. That might be handy. In fact, that will be very handy. And you know why that will be handy is because eventually I'm not going to be able to trade with anybody. Not that I can trade with anybody at the moment anyway. There's going to be a blizzard this year, right at the beginning. Oh, dearie me. Oh, that's not good. Too many wounded. That should wear off in a minute. That guy's about to be unwounded. Oh, I see, because of the fight we just had. Come on. Heal. Clan can't grow because it's unhappy, I know, but once everyone heals, it'll be fine. And once I can upgrade the town hall, it'll be fine too. I'm slightly worried about this winter though. Upgrading the town hall will be important because that will mean that I can start building these silos. And I really need them. So I can... Oh! Did I not choose... Oh, I didn't choose anything. Right, okay, we're going to choose um, pillage. The reason I'm going to choose pillage is because that means I don't have to go with trading so much if we kill stuff. Cartography will be really important. And Conqueror will be really important, and then we'll go along the top line, I think. Recruitment. Medicine will be important. We've already got colonisation, so we can get medicine next time as well. 
and they can gather food when they're not healing. I might even get that one next time. Because I don't think we'll want Cartography and Conqueror for a little bit longer anyway. Okay, cool. I think that's a plan. And then, I could put a defense tower in here. Yeah, I might do that. I might actually do that. Oh, no, 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 wolf. Get back. Get back. I'm just trying not to lose anybody. The healer will heal them back up. And they'll be a bit unhappy because they've got wounds of clan members. But I want to try and... Try and defend as much as I can. Okay, we can, we're nearly there for the town upgrade. Uh, there we go. I'll make them happier. And that means you can upgrade houses. It means you can upgrade possibly even the farms and stuff like that. Eventually. We have like no, oh, no crowns. Oops. Should have thought about that one. Thankfully we're still in a positive for crowns. Well, that could have been quite bad times. Oh, look at that area all full of deer. Oh, how good is that? We would be getting quite close to the reds. They would be getting quite annoyed with us. And their scouts were around there. It would be stopping them from getting a law stone as well, actually. Oh, you know what? I can have it straight away. We're about to have that blizzard. Mm. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's colonise it. Reds will hate us for this, so we're going to have to keep our warriors right but right close by. I will probably upgrade my warrior hut as soon as I can. I get 20% attack bonus fighting in other areas because I'm wolf clan and I rock. That means that area is pretty much mine because no one can really get through it. So this will be hotly contested, especially for the law stone. Um... So the first thing I probably actually want to build there will be a defence tower, but I don't have enough money for it. So what I'll do is I'm going to send my warriors down here. I think they need to be down here, to be honest. And I'm going to need to upgrade my warrior's hut as soon as I can. They're doing well for their food. They, they are doing really well. So I wonder if I can build a hunter's lodge. Yeah, I've got lots of wood. So let's do that. Let's build it quite far back though. I don't want people getting killed. I think I might be able to put a fishing lodge in somewhere as well. That might have fish in it. Let's have a look. You can normally see if there's fish. I can't see any fish in that particular bed of water there so but I, I believe that hunters and specialized groups of people I mean from what I can tell so far changing people to be things like hunters has definitely helped in the past um, as soon as I have enough money as soon as I have enough money I will be building a defense tower in here but I don't have enough at the moment and then as soon as I've built that I'll be upgrading there here it is, <laughs> there. Training camp. I need another 50 gold and 10 stone for that as well. But I do have spare stone back here. I can build a mine back here if I want to. Um, I will need to demolish the house to do it, so I'll need to build a house elsewhere, but I might start upgrading houses at some point. Well, upgrading houses, I think, takes stone as well. Got to be careful. Oh no, there's wolves again. He'll run away, run back over there. You definitely start to get a problem with mobility after a while, but I do want them down there as much as I can. Um, because he's run away, I think I might have to attach him back to his his hut there. There, he's doing his healing job now. Just check what he's up to. Healing a warrior, good stuff. I like to make sure he's not idle. Um, there's still a building with no workers. That's the hunting lodge, because that's only just been built. So I'll for forgive myself for that one. And I'll pop as many workers as we can in there. And hopefully get a really good amount of food. 
See, the food drops a little bit while they're running over here, but hopefully it should go right up. Plus 14. See, we're getting towards our 500 now, so I really need to be getting um, a food silo built. Preferably in a food producing area, so in areas with fields would be better. So this area would be a good one. I want to build a lot in that area though, let's, let's build it here. That's an area with a bit of space. We'll get someone to build it. In fact, no, we won't get anyone to build it just yet because we're in the middle of our, win our blizzardy winter, but thankfully we had a lot of food. And um, building that uh, Hunter's Lodge just at the right time as well was really handy. Hey, where are you going? We've got two Hunters in there. If we upgrade it, we might be able to put another one in. Uh, one thing with the Goat Clan I didn't realise is that you can put an extra person into a building when you upgrade it. If you have Goat Clan, you can put an extra two people in when you upgrade it. So the fact that you get that thing that says that you can have an extra person in a building if it's upgraded means you can actually have four people in one building. So they're really good at living in a small space, to be honest with you. Here's the blizzard. Oh, good grief. Oh, the effect on the firewood's pretty dire. Ouchie, ouchie, ouchie. Very ouchie. Uh, okay, can we do anything about that? This area is my forested area. Clan can't grow because it's unhappy. Uh, that's the least of my worries, is the clan growing. That's the absolute least of my worries. Good job there's no fame victories, eh? There's someone already at like 400. This is all about getting the economy right, and then we'll go and bash everybody. We've nearly got another... Uh... Oh, I really hope this winter's over soon, because we're going to run out of wood. We're so going to run out of wood. Medicine. Reduce loss of food production during winter. Extra metal and stone. We have a lot of stone and metal, so we could maybe wait for that one. Or an extra three happiness. Oh, the wood's about to run out. Oh, the winter's nearly over. Okay, I'm going to leave that for a second, because uh, the territory's under attack and I need to know where. Oh, thankfully, it was where I thought it would be. In this area. We need to take that area over as soon as spring hits. Which thankfully it did, just in time. So we can actually get some wood in now. Wow, that was terrible. That was horrible. So we won't need firewood very soon. But we're also running out of money. So I'm going to need to send someone else over to be a trader. Building's full. Ah, luckily we actually are getting money now. Hopefully we'll get trade routes soon. And I'm wanting to go and um, find the Jotuns. I need a, a scout. Did my scout get killed? Probably. So let's get a scout and we'll scout some more areas. Now. We've got medicine. Next time we'll get cartography and then we'll get co um, conqueror and those will be the ones that we I really want. Uh, then we'll look at stuff like extra coin. But I think I want Baldur's Blessing. Because the happiness was causing an issue. I wanted to see how well we did through the winter first. Oh, good grief. Get away. Okay, we need to sort this area out. I'm fed up with these walls. Absolutely sick to the back teeth of them. 
and we'll probably take that area over as well because it'll be a really, really good place to put a, a woodcutter's hut. And uh, thankfully, having the extra merchant there is giving me uh, a bit of extra money, which will be very, very good for getting my tower up in here, which I really, really need. Oh, good. Have a little look at the reds area. That sounds good to me. But I think one thing I probably need to do is when the scout gets hurt, send him back. Because I imagine if he gets hurt twice, that that's him, him gone. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually send him back to the town hall. Because he's been hurt, really hurt now. And then I'm going to get someone else, another villager who's not um, hurt at all, to be the scout instead. So we'll, we'll round robin them a bit. So I'm trying to just stop people from dying all the time. I know they do get replaced, but it takes time. Reds will probably be the, per the first ones I want to take out. But I do, I want to get trade going with the Jotuns because I've got a trade area and I've got no one to trade with. Although we might be able to trade with the Reds for a while. Okay, so my scout. I'm actually going to get my scout to go and scout over here. Because as I say, I think this is the Jotun area. There's someone else over here as well that I need to take out. Off you go, Scout. No one built the silo either because it was the middle of winter. So we'll get someone to do that now as well. Plan needs more houses. Oh dear. You're all grumpy anyway. Well, we can colonise this area now. I'll put a house and a woodcutter's hut in there, I think. Because it's not actually a beach or anything. Yay, it's ours. Good. Right, so that's all places that we don't have to defend. We have to defend that border, that border. And this bit up against the reds. Definitely needing that... Um... Go back. Go back. Run away. Let your friend take the damage. You guys run away too. No, you run away. Keep running away. The warriors will sort it out. There you go. Right. You guys need a tower so badly. I'll put it just behind your farm. Okay. And we'll get someone to come in and do that. And I want someone to build a house. We only have like 60 wood, but we're, oh, we've got a while before winter. And I also want someone to build a woodcutter's hut before winter as well. Portals to Helheim. Oh, good, good, good. Do we have any on our turf? Yes, here. Okay. That is very unfortunate. We do have a tower over in that area when they break open, but I need to really need to keep my warriors over here. In fact, where even are my warriors? They should be down here. Because we're getting the we're getting the tower up there, so that should help. Oh, so they're basically near all the existing Draugr areas. These Helheim portals. You decided you want to gather food, food right by those. That's not really that smart, is it? Run away. Okay, well, I thought I saw Jotun over here. I was mistaken. There's definitely colonisation over here. It's a shame because I really, really want to trade with the Jotun if I can. It's usually the ideal. 
Okay, so the next thing I really want to be working on is to upgrade the... So you need wood and I need money for that. So we definitely need to start trading as soon as we can. I haven't met anybody yet. What's my scout up to? Right, my scout is about to help us meet Red, I think. And I think we're going to have a really bad time of it for food. Because I think we're going to have... Oh, right, the Draugr invasion will happen at the beginning of winter, but it's not actually a blizzard. That will be very helpful. Extremely helpful. I'm actually relieved that there's a Draugr invasion going to happen. It's good because it's in the two areas where I actually have towers. Quite happy with that. Now, do we have enough wood for another woodcutter? There's a woodcutter in the forested area. It's going to be really, really good. You can be that woodcutter. How many do we have in that one? So we've got two in that one. But I'm going to make sure that the other one is filled up with woodcutters as well. Um, I've got to balance it against the food production a little bit though. But I definitely think we've got enough population that we can run to. Um, if I have to have three woodcutters, two in one and one in another, then I'll have two in this one because this area is a forest. See, it has the big forest tree in it, so we get 20% extra production for doing nothing, which is great. Okay, so we have met Harald. Um, and I would like to build a trade route with Harald, and I would like to maybe trade a bit of food, actually. Yeah, go for it. So we're getting some extra coin for that, and we'll be getting some extra faction standing with Harald. Until I decide to crush him. scout was hurt which means we need to pull him back and choose another scout ah winter okay I won't bother scouting in the winter and we'll wait until we've got once we get cartography the whole map is going to open up so much quicker anyway our clan is unhappy oh no I somehow missed the Draugr attack Actually, Draugr didn't really do much. I think the towers were my saving grace there. I'll tell you that right now. So we're only actually on minus one for wood. We're on minus 16 for food, though. We're really struggling for food. So I wonder if there's anything that we can do to help with that. Can we maybe upgrade the Hunter's Lodge? Get a bit more meat coming in? Might be a good idea. So I can put another villager in there. Oh, I see, it's because of the outgoing trade. But I think we have enough anyway. I think we'll be okay. The wood is actually the problem. Way more than anything else. Let's get a villager, a second villager on wood. It's going to hurt our food a little bit, but I'll, I'll break the trade route if it looks like we're really struggling for it. Which I think I might need to do. Cancel it for now. Um, and then we'll get some more money once we're back into the springtime and we can trade again. Looks like we've got quite good territory though. So I think really the next thing we need to start thinking about, um, possibly in springtime, once we have a bit more money and a bit more wood and all that sort of stuff, uh, what we'll be, need be needing to think about will be upgrading really heavily the um, Warriors Guild, getting in a war chief. Um, hopefully, I think we're going to need to get to 500 before we get our berserker, but I think that's going to be important to get 500 fame as well. But hopefully I can do that by gaining territory with the warband. Once you have a warband, because, I mean... Ah, good. They were in the right place. Once you have a warband, a really good warband together, it becomes really easy 
to to take places over because I, I do find that um, the other clans don't tend to well they don't tend to really um, send the war band with a load of warriors attached they tend you know it doesn't seem like they do that as much that could just be my opinion but uh, treasure is waiting to be found we made it to a new year I love the way it's like you made it that's actually how it feels sometimes. Okay, I'm actually going to do a wood trade route because we have more wood coming in than food at this point. Our clan is unhappy. We want better houses. Okay, I'm just going to upgrade like one house. Oh, I can't because I don't have enough gold. I will in a minute. In fact, I say that and I actually want to upgrade the... No, I'm not going to listen to you. I'm not listening to you. I am not. I am going to upgrade the warband training camp, and you can you can get lost. Okay, I'm gonna have one more villager in there, and you know that will actually sort the happiness out. And you know why? Because they get an extra happiness for every warrior they have. Oh, I have to wait. Don't have enough gold. Okay, cartography is next, and then we're gonna get conqueror, so we can just go and stamp on everybody. Depleted deposits. Ah, good stuff. Right. Demolish. Harold is a yarl now. He might be hard to dig out, actually. So we've got another stone mine, or we can start mining iron. I actually think um, starting to mine iron would be a good next step. So I'll pop a mine there. Get my one remaining villager to go in. Everyone's doing stuff. They're all busy. We'll give them better houses as soon as we can. Okay, I can have another... Oh no, my only villager. My only one villager. <laughs> it's building a house. I need to wait. Build the build the mine, build the mine, dude. We're doing so well for we're doing really well for money and for food and for wood actually. But we're just not doing very well for population at the moment. I'm gonna get one of the woodcutters to go and be a warrior instead. I'm gonna get the iron mine. My one last villager can be my iron miner. Um, and then hopefully, eventually, why don't you go and join your friends over there? And then hopefully, eventually, I will be able to get my war chief, and then we can go rampaging. I'm quite happy that I've been able to block other people from doing other victories. It's a good, it's a good way to sort of break myself into a domination victory because I think after a while. Oh, look at the... Oh, I want that stone. How good is that? Because after a while, the domination uh, victory becomes... It's quite difficult to do uh, with a time limit, but if I know that no one else can win any other way, then it basically takes the time limit away. We need lots of wood because we're going to have a earthquake. Okay. There's a clan member without a job? How dare he... Should have realised that when the when I destroyed the mine. Now I need someone to be a scout, and I need them to go and check out the red territory a little bit more. It's a dangerous job, but someone's got to do it. That would be a really good area just to build houses and stuff on. Right, what are we getting? A blizzard? We're getting an earthquake, okay. I don't mind getting an earthquake. An earthquake you can just have, build up loads of wood and then you can just click a button and it's gone. That's not so bad. What is bad is when you have a blizzard, basically. That's the one thing that I'm scared of in this game. I am terrified of a blizzard. So I'm just going to let the scout scout out this one last little area and then I think I'm going to end the episode there. 
I think it might take us th like three or four episodes to actually do a domination victory. It, it does seem to be so much more long-winded than a lot of the other ways that you can win. Okay, maybe, maybe he could do this one too. Let's just try and scout out as much of that area as we can. I want to know where they are, how many areas they have. They're well ahead of me as far as fame is concerned, which means they might have a very large amount of um, territory. That doesn't necessarily mean that they've got a fierce warrior band like me. Okay, the tower should take him out. Yeah, good stuff. It's quite interesting how if you lay out your areas wrong, it makes a big difference. Like, by laying this area out with the buildings far back from the border and a tower right the way far back, it actually meant that I didn't have to have anybody engage the, those Draugr at all. Okay, Mr. Scout, doing a good job, doing a really good job. Scout this area. I want to know exactly what Red are up to. I want to know how many military units they have. I want to know what I'm going to be up against. It looks to me like they've got this really long, thin territory that's quite going to be quite susceptible to me just going boof, boof. But I don't want to lose too many warriors in the process. I want to try and spy on them and find out what they're doing, which is why that cartography thing is really important. Because I'll be able to, you know, double the speed of finding out what they've actually got. Very good. That looks like the Jotuns there. It is the Jotuns. I'm actually going to do something a bit crazy, okay? I'm going to get another scout. Because we're, we're doing well for food at the moment, so I'll get a second scout. And I'm going to get that second scout just to quickly go and... Oh, where were they? I found them. I did find them. I saw their little... Ah, oh, where are they? I saw them. I saw their grey border. Ah, yeah, there it is. Check out that, please. Yeah, it's just when I was down here, I could see the, their little cross thing there. Their little archway that they always build. Okay, so scout number one. I probably don't really want you scouting that. I want you scouting... Well, that's not going to hurt. I'll probably get scout number two to come and help as well. And then I really will end the episode. I, but definitely I think I could take out like these three territories quite easily and defend them with one tower like here and all my guys. And if I then took this one out then I wouldn't be worrying about Draugr from that particular area. The clan is unhappy, I know. I know you want better houses. You probably could have them right now, actually. There, have better houses. You happy now? Stupid rioting peasants, I don't know. Oh, they're taking ages. They're taking so long. Why are you taking so long to scout these areas? Our scout was hurt. That's annoying. Definite Jotun's there, though. You, Mr. Scout. Uh, okay, I'll let you do that one. I think that's a good one for you to do. But I'm going to end the episode there, I think. So basically what we're doing at the moment, we're scouting out Red's area in preparation for a possible war with Red. Red is really happy with us at the moment, though. They are our friends. Um, so what I want to do is get good relations with the Jotuns, so I don't have to worry about... Oh, there goes the earthquake! Ouch. Okay, now I had a damaged scout. I'm actually going to make that damaged scout come back and be a woodcutter again for the winter time. I think that would be a really good use of that damaged scout. And then he can go back to our territory and he can heal. But that is the end of the episode for today, I think. I've probably overrun a bit more than I intend to do. So I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, please leave me a like below. And if you'd like to see more Northgard or any of the other 
myriad new series I seem to be putting up lately, then please... Oh, Territory's under attack! Oh no, it's just a, one of those. Um, yeah, if you want to see any of those, then please subscribe and I will let you know when the new videos are out. I hope to see you next time, but in the meantime, please look after yourselves and keep being awesome.